Guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to talk about what getting Kodiak feels like. And when I say getting Kodiak, I mean your opponent is sending a Kodiak battleship to your base and proceeding to crush you with it with his flying battleship that just doesn't seem to die. And the Kodiak is a very difficult unit to take out. It has so much amount of health and it's a flying unit. There isn't a lot of units in this game that does a lot of damage to flying units quickly. And that is the biggest problem. The Kodiaks just have too much health, and because it's a flying unit, the only unit that really takes it out fast enough before it does too much damage on you is the Hammerhead. You know, even things like the Pitbull or Missile Squads and Talons, they just don't do enough damage to uh, Kodiaks, and Kodiaks will proceed to, serve, uh, to destroy your base or survive uh, long enough to do a lot of damage. And that is the biggest problem with that unit. It just has too much health, it just does too much damage on bases, and... That is, I, th I think the Kodiak honestly needs a little bit of a nerf, just like the flame tank got a nerf. It needs a health reduction and it also needs a base damage reduction because this strategy is just way too strong right now. It's just way too hard to stop. Um, also, if you're not suspecting a Kodiak base rush to come out from your opponent's side, I certainly didn't expect the Kodiak rush from this guy because of course he could have fielded any units, right? Anyways, I try to stop his double harvesters here. As you guys can see, he has double harvesters. He protected it quite well with his missile squads, but he had his Orca Bomber right up on time, and that was unfortunate for me. He just predicted me to go for an MLRS, I guess, because he did see an, a, war, a War Dog from my side, so he knows I've got War Factory units. So I try to stop this level 10 Orca Bomber with my level 9 Pitbull, but of course he's going to get one-shotted by that Orca Bomber. What can I do at this point, right? So I build a couple more Pitbulls here. I do capture the first missile, which was good. Uh, but once again guys, me not stopping his double harvesters from farming here is a huge problem because he has the Kodiak battleship which is a very difficult unit to deal with uh, unless you build a lot of hammerheads to, to counter it. Now I try to kill his harvesters with my pitbulls and that's why I ignore his orca bomber here and um, I see that he's trying to kill my harvester so I do stop his orca bomber here with my pitbull I made a mistake of not killing that orca bomber that just got boosted with the Colonel Jackson's ability because now he's gonna get some free crystals from here just in time before my pitbull takes it out and he gets a quick Kodiak battleship up and look at just how little my damage pitbulls do to this Kodiak battleship and a Kodiak Battleship, even though it's a level 10, it's only, uh, you know, one level higher than my Pitbull. You know, it has so much amount of health. I build more Shockwaves here because I decided to base rush him because I was going to ignore his Kodiaks and his Orca Bombers. I realized, hey, you know what? I think my only chance is to base rush this guy. And that is the reason why I spam Shockwaves, which, of course, could have been a mistake. He goes for a Disruptor here. I decide to finally go for a Hammerhead. And I do almost take out his base here. But his disruptors and his uh, riflemen there took care of my shockwave squads. And I try to capture this missile here, but unfortunately I cannot as he boosts his disruptors up. He's got also a level 10 hammerhead, two levels higher than my premium uh, anti-air unit, which is the hammerhead. So I'm pretty much screwed. There's no way I can take out this Kodiak. His hammerhead is just going to do too much damage against mine. And then he's what he's going to proceed to do now at this point is he's just going to roll me over with his Kodiak and his Disruptor. They're just too strong for me, and I just can't take it out. He dominates me completely. I can't farm crystals. And look at how fast that my base just went down. He did have the help of the Disruptor there at the end, but the Kodiaks are just so difficult to take care of, and when your opponent has a Hammerhead that's two head levels higher than your Hammerhead, you're really going to be stuck in a rut, and, and there's just really nothing you can do. I think the Kodiak is just too strong. It has too much health it needs a bit of a nerf right now all right this will be the second game guys and once again it will be colonel jackson versus colonel jackson and you'll see my opponent fielding the kodiak battleship once again in this uh replay here except for he's got two different tech lab units the zone trooper and the wolverine but the infantry units are exactly the same it's the rifleman and the uh, rocket or the missile squad and he's going to go for one harvester here and at some point he's going to want to go for double harvesters of course because he will want to farm those juicy crystals to get the kodiaks up and once again guys it's hard to predict if your opponent's going to go for a kodiak battleship or if he's going to rush you with that because you'll never know what type of tech lab units he's going to bring all i know at this point is that he has a double harvester now he does have a double harvester which is something i did scout out with my war dog and I'm trying to protect my Harvester here if he does try to kill it with his Missile Squad. So I go for some double Shockwaves here. And he does try to attack my or distract me with his Missile Squad on the top. 
And what I do is I go for a quick pit, pit bull because I know he has double harvesters. And I do need to take one of those harvesters out because whatever tech lab units he has, it could be trouble for me. So I do want to take it out as quickly as I can. He does almost actually take out my harvester on the top. Um, he does now go for a tech lab. Uh, and uh, I'm, you know, I don't know if he has a tech lab yet or not because I don't see it. All I try to do is stop him from farming and capture his first missile, which is what I do. And um, you know, I'm hoping that you know he doesn't have enough crystals yet to to bring out a very dangerous, scary unit. I try to still take out as many harvesters as I can. I stop one of his harvesters from farming. It has to move to the top, and there comes out the Kodiak battleship, y'all. Um, and he, what he does is he just boosts that thing, ignores all my units, and he goes straight for my base. Keep in mind, I'm at the red zone, and I didn't have, it, I couldn't spawn any units until now. And I quickly go for a hammerhead, and uh, he moves his Kodiak battleship all the way to the corner. And even though I boost my hammerhead with Co with the Colonel Jackson ability, look at how many shots it has to fire. That one Kodiak battleship that was not even boosted with the Jackson's ability while it was attacking. Took out half of my base's health before it went down to my hammerhead. That is, that is just, that is just not right, guys. I think that's unacceptable. I think the Kodiak battleship is is just it has too much amount of health right now. It definitely needs a health nerf. And I don't know why the developers haven't seen this yet. I know that the Kodiak battleship has been used like this for quite a bit now by some of the top players that had uh, realized the, the potential of this unit. I really don't understand why the developers have not, still not nerfed the health of that unit. I think it's, I think it's more, way more of a problem than a flame tank is, and certain other units that can do base rushes. The Kodiak battleship is just way too strong. Like, come on, that's just ridiculous. How does it survive for so long against the Hammerhead battleship that was boosted by Colonel Jackson's ability? And look at this, my base is almost dead. All he has to do is, look, pump out another Kodiak battleship, make it fly, he doesn't care about anything, right? All he has to do is fire two more shots on my base and boom, it goes down. The Kodiak battleship is just way too strong. It's so hard to stop if you don't have the right units. Even if you have the right units like I did, I had the right Hammerhead, which is the best anti-air unit. It still can't kill it fast enough like the Kodiak, Kodiak battleship does just too much damage right now. How does it do 50% damage while it gets attacked by a hammer? I just don't understand that. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to the third game, guys. All right, guys, this will be the third game. And once again, it will be Colonel Jackson versus Colonel Jackson. And right now, Colonel Jackson is the dominant commander for GDI. And so is uh, uh, Commander Xana for the Nod faction because their speed up ability is very cheap to use and the cooldown on it is very, very low. So you can spam their commander abilities much more rapidly than other commanders. And I think, honestly, Colonel Jackson and Commander Xana needs a nerf as well because the other commanders are just not seeing enough play right now. These two commanders are just too dominant right now. But anyways, my opponent goes for double harvesters. I don't see this because he moves both of them to the top, as you guys saw. And you see he has a Kodiak battleship and he has a mammoth tank. Of course he wants to go for a double harvester, right? Because he will want to farm those juicy crystals up. Now I send two pit bulls up because I want to kill his harvesters. Now he thinks that I have a harvester on the bottom side, which is probably why he sent the predator tank to the bottom side. And luckily enough, this time I learned a little bit from my couple other games that I should send the Harvester to the top. And that's fortunately what I do. So his tanks will not be able to kill my Harvester because he doesn't see a Harvester on the bottom side. Or he might think I don't have a Harvester. And in this case, I don't really care about capturing the first missile here, but I should have still cared about it a little bit. I really wanted to stop this Harvester as best as I can. Um, you know, this was a game I played after I got Kodiak rushed twice there. You guys saw me getting wrecked. I really didn't want to deal with that anymore. I didn't want to risk myself getting destroyed, getting obliterated. So I did everything I can to stop him from, you know, farming those crystals and trying to be at a crystal advantage here. And so that's why I sent also my Harvester to the top because I knew he would probably send a tank or a Kodiak bomber or something like that to the bottom and maybe try to kill a Harvester or two. And he does get a Kodiak battleship up at this point. And what I do is I just try to kill all his harvesters as best as I can with my MLR Seer. I kill a third harvester, which is nice for him. For me, I get a hammerhead instantly up because I'm not going to let that thing fly to my base. I try to tile block it with my hammerhead here as well. And uh, he just decides to sit with his Kodiak because at this point, his Kodiak battleship won't be able to uh, move fast enough to my base to do any damage. He does have one level higher on his hammerhead as well. So he does have a bit of a level advantage here, which will kill my hammerhead. 
and this could definitely pose this could be a bit of a problem for me if he decides to go for hammerheads and Kodiak battleships because his hammerheads are going to beat my hammerheads but I don't give up I just spam uh, as many hammerheads as I can here and take out his Kodiak battleships while using my MLRS to destroy his harvesters and he's not farming enough crystals you can see his economy is really down you know he's at only a 50 60 70 crystals right now he has a lot of expensive units his hammerhead is going to cost a minimum of 100 crystals he's going to need 130 for Kodiak battleships and 230 crystals for mammoth tanks and I've been, I, I did so well this game at stopping his harvesters from farming with my MLRSs. He just didn't have enough crystals to pump out his expensive units fast enough. And that's really the only thing you can do against these opponents is to kill as many, many, many harvesters as you can. This whole game, because I learned from that Kodiak battleship rushes, um, I did not want to face that ever again. And I knew this guy would have... Kodiaks by some chance because it's it's a unit being used a lot by GDI players right now So I went and killed as many harvesters as I can I did an excellent job because I killed four to five harvesters this game He was constantly on the low his economy was very very low Honestly the Kodiak battleship and the Colonel Jackson combo is just really strong right now They both need a nerf Colonel Jackson has needed a nerf for a while now as well just because Colonel Jackson is just such a strong commander along with commander uh, Xana from Nod faction because right now mobility is key on the units and if you can speed up your unit you know you're gonna have a better time at winning those games so anyways let me know what you guys think about the Kodiak battleship and Colonel Jackson because I think they need a nerf and I'll see you guys next time